Hey guys, and welcome to my quick tips of the day. Today I wanted to talk about some of the pest management issues you might have inside of your aquaponics system. Managing some of the pests can be tricky inside of the systems because a lot of the things that kill all the bugs will also kill the fish and you'll end up with a very bad day if you put something like that in the system. But there are some, there are some things that you can use which will work quite well. If you have a look at this little guy, I just pulled him out of my system. Okay, so this little guy is a caterpillar. Basically, he'll turn into a moth and then he'll go around and he'll drop a whole lot of little caterpillars like that everywhere in the system. I've had crops like basil absolutely decimated by these guys. You don't notice it too bad until you come out and they're basically eating the entire thing and you can't notice them because they are a very green little colour. But there are some ways to deal with them. This is the one that I'd recommend. It's a caterpillar, it's called dipel. It's basically a bacterial based insecticide. So you add one of the little satchels out of it, they come in little packets like this, that's a little powder, put a scoop full of it in a little spray bottle, so put a scoop full in one of these little guys, pump it up, and then spray it all over the plants. I could spray that stuff straight over something I wanted to eat straight away and it'll be perfectly fine for me to eat. It won't harm fish and there'll be no problems at all with it. With the dipel, it's got a chemical inside of it that gets into the stomachs of the caterpillars. They'll eat it and then they'll start doing a weird little head banging. They won't die straight away, but they'll take about three days and they won't eat anything more after they've taken the first bite and then they'll just drop off and die. Okay, so the second one is a lot harder to photograph. But basically, if you can see in there, I've got lots of little bugs that are being caught in the traps. In my DWC bed, there were lots and lots and lots of little flies that were going over absolutely everything, and I just had seedlings that just kept them dying one after the other. So, I pulled out some of these little sticky traps, and they worked, but they just didn't seem to stop at all. So the next solution was this stuff. It's basically an eco oil. It's an oil mixture of a couple different sorts. It's got... Okay, so it's basically a mix of a whole lot of different oils that you can use inside the system. It's got eucalypt eucalyptus oil and lots of stuff like that that the bugs won't be able to eat. So this is good on things like white flies, on good, good on things like aphids and those sort of plants. Just put the amount you need, so it will measure it out at the top there, into the spray bottle, and then just spray it all over the thing. You can't use too much of it, but it's another thing that you can eat pretty much straight away after you put, put it on there. And the third one, which is really pesky, snails snails and slugs. You get them in a lot of systems and I'm pretty sure you get them absolutely everywhere. You cannot avoid them and they will usually find their ways their way in. So to deal with those ones there's a couple different ways that I've used. This is an iron based slug, slug and ant killer. It's stuff that the animals can eat and I have used it in my system. One thing to note, when I do put it over the beds, once it gets into the water system, I think it adds a lot of potassium to the water, because everything started flowering at once, including all my lettuce and those sort of things. So it's not the first one I'd use, but if things are really bad, put it all the way around the beds, put it absolutely everywhere, and hopefully it should knock a few of them on the head. But the next option is just plain salt. Slugs and snails hate salt. So if you've got some rock salt, and you can put it all the way here. If you've got some rock salt, just sprinkle them all over the bed, and they should be able to knock a few of the snails on the head. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys find this informative. And if you've got any questions, just let me know. Thank you.